So I was born with naturally curly hair. It was pretty cute when I was a little kid. Mothers would say, Isn't Susie cute with that naturally curly hair? Other little girls would say, I wish I had naturally curly hair. One time a little girl said to her mother, Her hair is messy. Somebody should comb it. Her mother replied, Her hair isn't messy. It's just naturally curly. And the little girl said, Well, I think it's messy. Then puberty struck. My hair got fuzzy, frizzy. It wasn't cute and curly anymore. I have been trying to tame my hair since I was 13 years old. My hair still looks messy. I need to use products, many, many products. And then my hair turned gray and I had to use more products and more products. And I colored my hair and that made it worse. Then. Got discovered keratin, but keratin doesn't last, so I need more products. But I don't want to use a lot of products. I want one product, one good product. Well, I found a product, and it seems to work. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you this product that I found. This video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to demo this product. I bought it myself for $28. It's called Wow. It's made by Color Wow. Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. I had this in my hair in the video that I did comparing Estee Lauder and e.l.f makeup. I'm going to link that one up here if you want to see that one. I'll put everything down below that I am using, including the makeup. I also have this hunker of a hair dryer. This I'll list this one below too. This is by Dry Bar. There, the Dry Bar. Uh, once again, I'm not being paid to demonstrate any of these products. This is important. It says dryer heat required to activate the product. Long lasting, use after every three to four shampoos. It says to apply liberally in sections. So I'm gonna section off my hair. It's hard to look into my camera and also try to aim accurately so I don't spray it in my eyes. Make sure I've got it all the way to the ends. One thing about this product is that it has to have a dryer heat in order to activate. You can't just put it in and let your hair air dry and expect it to work. I'm not sure if there's a heat temperature that you're supposed to go to, but my hunkin' big dryer goes all the way up to 450 watts. That's hot. Be careful if you buy this or any comparable dryer. I'm kind of demoing this dryer at the same time, I guess. What I'm gonna do is alternate between the high heat setting on the dryer and the lower one. The problem with the lower one is it takes too long to dry my hair. The problem with the higher one is it's very hot, but what's good about that is that I can dry my hair quicker. So as long as I don't keep going over and over the same section, it doesn't seem to damage my hair. And hopefully this product will protect my hair as well. I'm gonna speed up as I dry the different sections. I will, so you don't have to wait the whole time. So I'm gonna start with my bang. Okay, now I have naturally curly hair, as I said in the intro, so it's gonna do its little flippy thing, 
but it's you can see that it looks looks pretty good they also recommend that you finish it with a flat iron to really get the results so we'll do that after it's dry getting stuck to my face. Um, well, it's got a little flip to it. I'm not sure. See, this is the part here uh, where I've, I'm the most gray and gray hair has a different texture to it. Um, hmm, let's keep going. I'm looking forward to doing the, um, the flat iron. I think that'll help. Okay, I've got the next section. When I dry my hair normally, I don't do it underneath part up to the top. So I'm a little inexperienced at doing it that way. This has a nice long cord, but it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're not quite to the very top because that was a thicker section of hair than I thought I had. So here we go with this section. I've noticed what's helping a lot is uh, cooling the hair dryer down because it really is hot, like I said. Um, I haven't quite gotten all of this. We're gonna speed up again. Oh my gosh, you can see it too. Uh, where I cooled down the dryer, it's a little fuzzier. And I don't think, well, there's a little wet. Oh, maybe that's why. Let me keep going. Get the last part now. That down. Okay. Isn't this the biggest hair dryer you've ever seen? It's, it's got a little learning curve. Okay, I'm going to give it a um, cool shot all around. It's hard to, <laughs> I have these earplugs in. <laughs> they're, they're great with the hair dryer, but they also um, obviously muffle my hearing. You were talking to me, right? Because I didn't hear you. <laughs> okay. One more cool shot. It definitely 
would benefit from some flat iron, uh, flat ironing. It's pretty good though. I promised I would do the flat ironing. Coming up next, I got up and uh, walked around the house a little bit and I, it, I think it kind of settled down. I don't know if you can see the, it's pretty shiny. Uh, you know, once again, my hair is, uh, it's gray. There's a lot of gray in it and it's naturally curly and it's um it's tinted and it's long and you know long hair is you know older hair it's been around it's been <laughs> growing out of my head for a while okay so we're gonna get to the flat ironing part of the demo i promised you we'd finish it with that and what i have you can't even find this anymore. I bought this probably uh, maybe 2005. That's 15 years ago now. Infra Shine. And honestly, I don't even know the brand. Maybe you do. You could leave a comment for me because the, the two buttons fell off years ago. So all I know is I've had this a long time. I am gonna start with my bangs. Oh my God, I'm I'm hot from that hair dryer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh my God, those roots. And my hair has thinned over the years. I used to have the thickest hair. It was like crazy thick. And um, you go through menopause and I guess your, your hair thins. So, okay, I did my bangs. Now it's looking kind of shiny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have just, I have beaten up my hair over the years. Just since I was a teenager, I I guess I have really hardy hair. My hair is strong. You saw at the beginning too that it's very curly. In fact, I wasn't exaggerating about the fact that um, when I reached puberty, my hair went from going kind of, you know, curly, cute, spirally to it just kind of got, got fuzzy. This is pretty nice. It's, um, yeah, see the, it came out pretty shiny and, and it's not, it's not at all sticky or, um, tacky or greasy. It's not anything like that. This is a good product. I just wanted to show this, that, so if if the wind blows, uh, probably just kind of smooth it down. I need to cut my bangs. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing it all myself right now because of quarantine. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that part. After Afterwards, I looked at it and I realized that it really, uh, it really came out nice. I'm, I'm pleased with that product. The last time I used it, I had some keratin in my hair. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? The next time I have one, I'm gonna make a video. That should be fun. So if you don't wanna miss that one, subscribe to my channel and hit that um, the little notification bell that's down there that uh, then you'll be notified when I do that video. And because I think that'll be fun. I don't think you want to miss that one. That is my demo of this product. Wow, I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. My hair's <laughs> getting in my way. Uh, no, I'm, I'm pleased with this product. And thank you for watching. Bye.